If we want our Exchange Server 2016 to send and receive outside emails, there are a few things we need to do and make sure they are done correctly. In order to receive emails, first of all, we need to make sure we have a public domain already registered. And then we have public DNS with appropriate DNS records. When we talk about Microsoft Exchange Server, appropriate DNS example is MX record and respective host record. When we talk about Microsoft Exchange Server, a Microsoft Exchange Server will receive emails from internet as long as there is an appropriate MX record with a host record, uh, which is pointing to your Exchange Server. And once we have all that set, we will go to the accepted domains and we will add the domain for which we want to receive emails in our exchange organization. In my case, as you can see, I have itsense.com already there. The reason for it, because my Active Directory domain name is the same as my external domain name. If this is the case, then I don't need to do anything or you don't need to do anything. Because when you install Exchange Server, by default, Exchange create an accepted domain based on the name of your Active Directory domain name. So if your Active Directory domain name matches your external domain name, you are all set to go. You don't have to create any other additional accepted domain. But if it's not, then you will create a new uh, authoritative domain. And authoritative domain means this Exchange Server will be responsible for receive emails for that, and it will deliver to the valid recipients in that organization. Valid recipient means the recipient with the valid email address based on that accepted domain. Once you will define the accepted domain, then you will go to the email address policies. As you can see, by default, there is one email address policy, which is based on my Active Directory domain name. And again, in my case, my Active Directory domain name is the same as my external domain, which is itsense.com. So here, I also don't need to do anything. Otherwise, if your domain name is different than your Active Directory domain name, I'm talking about the external domain or public domain, then in this case, you need to create first an accepted domain as we have seen in the previous step. And then we have to create an appropriate email address policy like that. We'll specify a policy name and then we will choose the accepted domain which we will create in step one. And then we will choose the format of the email addresses. For example, if I create an accepted domain called xyz.com, then I will should be able to see that in drop down box and then I can create an email address policy for all my recipients to have an email address based on xyz.com. Once we have accepted domain and email address policies, then we just need to make sure that we have a receive connector, which is there by default. It's the front end connector. Uh, so we have to just make sure that the default front end connector is enabled for anonymous users, which it is by default. Just we need to verify, just to make sure. It's like a double check. If I go to security tab option, I will see anonymous users is selected and this is what we needed for an exchange server to receive emails from outside world. So we are all set. We have accepted domain, we have email address policy as well as our front end connector is selected for anonymous user. So our exchange server is all set to receive emails for itsense.com. But when you want to talk about sending emails, then in this case, we need to configure something. Because by default, exchange is not configured to send emails to the internet. And to accomplish that, we need something called send connector. If we go under the send connectors, 
Uh, let me just show you here that when we talk, when we go to the send connectors, we don't have any send connector defined by default. Send connector is a piece of software which we create so that our exchange server can send emails to outside, either by using DNS resolution method or by using smart host method. Whichever method suits you, it totally depends your network topology and how you want to achieve that. Uh, both are configurable. As you can see, there is no send connector by default. I would like to create a new send connector here. And I will call it, let's say, outbound email. And the purpose of creating this email, uh, this connector is to send emails to the internet. So I will choose internet. Then the method, how the exchange will route mails to the target or to the destination, either through DNS and MX record resolution for the target domain or just route it to the smart host. Smart host could be an SMTP gateway in your environment. I will choose, in my case, MX record. I want my D exchange server to queries DNS. Then I will define an uh, address space, which is basically nothing but a um, list of domains for which uh, the email can be sent using this connector. I want to send it to any possible domain out there, so I will choose asterisk or a star. Means I want to send to internet to any domain. I'll go next. Here I will choose a server or select a server that will use this send connector to send emails to outside world. I have just one. So I will designate this server. If I have multiple exchange server, I can add multiple exchange servers here. And that's it. I'll connect, click finish. And once I click finish, you will see that connector will be created. Yeah. So that's that's what we need to send emails outside. So this is how you configure your Microsoft Exchange server to receive emails as well as to send emails to the internet.